So we know this decrease in decomposer population led to the decrease in carbon dioxide. Um, and we've tested this claim in the sim previously uh, when we uh, killed off all of the decomposers. Um, after that action, we saw a decrease in the carbon dioxide in the air as the effect of um, that action. So today, when we look to the sim, um, we're no longer looking for evidence of this claim. We've already gathered that. We are going to look for where did the carbon go? Um, because again, it has to be somewhere. It's not being destroyed. It's not leaving the bio biodome. It's just being transferred somewhere else. Um, so in our sim mission today, we want to determine where did that missing carbon go after the, um, or as an effect, I should say, of our decrease in the decomposer population. Um, so if you have access to the sim at this time, you can pause the video, complete the sim mission. Um, as you do that, consider these two questions I have here for you. What happened to the carbon that used to be in the air? Where did that carbon go? Um, and then record your observations um, around where the missing carbon is. Um, if you don't have access to the sim or you'd like to follow along with me, I'm gonna go ahead at this time and get my sim up and running. Um, so again, we are in lesson 3.3. We just did the warm up. We're in activity two now. Um, you can find the sim link here or again from the shortcut. And my sim's already up and running. Um, and I wanna see the effect of this change of the decrease in decomposer population. So I'm gonna leave my decomposers there. I'm not going to kill them off yet and I'm gonna start my sim. And again, I'm gonna speed up um, the rate of the sim just because I'm impatient. Um, and I'm gonna let this run as normal for a little bit because again, I wanna see and I wanna compare the difference of when I had the decomposer population um, to when I don't. Um, and remember, I'm looking particularly for carbon. Where is it? Okay. And remember the little black dots in our sim represent the carbon. Um, so I have the black dots up here representing carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. And then I have the black dots here inside that larger orange particle to represent the carbon within the energy storage molecules. Okay. So we know that when our decomposers, when their population decreased, that the carbon that was once in the air in the form of carbon dioxide um, reduced and went somewhere else. And we're trying to figure out where is that somewhere else? Where is it that it, that it went? Um, so I paused my sim so that I could kill off all of these decomposers um, quickly here. So I think I've done it. And I'm gonna start my sim up again. And I'm trying to figure out where the carbon is now that these decomposers once were releasing into the atmosphere. And I'm not really sure right now where it is. Um, so I'm gonna keep, keep this sim going um, because I don't, I don't necessarily see um, right now a noticeable difference in the amount of carbon in the atmosphere. Um, it, it didn't happen immediately. Um, so to me, that means I need to just give this sim a little bit more time. Um, I am noticing that I have, you know, some secondary consumers here that died off. I have less of them now. I have no more decomposers. And when, oh, like right there, one of those secondary consumers died off and that little energy storage molecule went down into that dead matter and carried that carbon with it. And things seem to be slowing down here a little bit. Um, I, I don't have any decomposers. I barely have any secondary consumers. Um, so they're not releasing that carbon into the atmosphere um, as carbon dioxide. And now I just, I didn't kill off the secondary consumers, but now they, they just died off. 
They didn't have enough energy storage molecules. They died. So now that carbon is down here in dead matter. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm going pretty slow here on my consumers in releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. My producers are, are looking like they're, they're doing okay. So what seems to be happening here is that when I didn't have any decomposers, um, it reduced the food source for the secondary consumers. And when the decomposers died, their carbon um, in the form of those unused energy storage molecules went down here into the dead matter. And again, when the secondary consumers died off, their carbon in the form of their energy storage molecules went down here into the dead matter. And where it didn't go was into the atmosphere. So if I go back and I consider um, what it is I am trying to determine here, I'm trying to determine where the missing carbon went. I know that it's no longer in the atmosphere um, because I have less cellular respiration happening with these um, decomposers dying off and then these secondary consumers dying off as a result of that. Um, so I know I have less carbon dioxide. Um, so where is that carbon? Well, it seems to me like it's down here in this dead matter, um, that it's just staying here. Um, so if this um, biotic matter is no longer alive um, and it's no longer releasing carbon in the form of carbon dioxide um, as it exhales in um, cellular respiration, then that carbon is just staying within um, that object and it's just now dead and it's just now down here hanging out um, underground here in this dead matter. Kind of like those fossil fuels have that carbon that's hanging out um, because it's dead matter from things that were once living. So it seems to me that where this carbon going is going is inside um, of this dead matter component of our ecosystem.